it's all fun and games if you are the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics came out with a 35 to 20 run on you and that defense from last season started kicking up, it's all fun and games. And you wind up looking crazy in game five. You wind up looking like your number eighth seed in the East. That's what, that's what you wind up looking like, Miami Heat. And, yeah, Boston f- finally. You see, this is the Boston Celtics defense that I've been waiting for. It, it's been here for the past two games. They're going to mess around and win game three. Is that even possible? You mean to tell yeah. me this Boston may be the first team to uh, overcome a 0-3 three, zero, uh, zero start? What? It Ooh. sure is looking like it, you know. Ooh. And I'm like, oh, you know, the Heat, they're trying to remain calm and cool. And and really, if you think about it, they still have the advantage, but the pressure it has shifted big time to the Miami Heat. Because how can you go back home and allow the Boston Celtics to potentially tie up the series when you were looking real good at the start? You can't. You can't let it happen. Miami Heat has to take home game six. They have to. They have to. It's it's horrible. Because, oh, I just, you know, I, I realized that I like Kyle Lowry coming off the bench. Oh, God, in Miami yes. Heat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they can come off the bench. I like him heading up the second unit. He's just a better fit for this Miami Heat roster when he does that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, well, maybe Coach Spolster should have gone and put in Heisman, right, to start. Right. Which may have been a little disrespectful on the surface to Kyle Lowry, but it may have been more effective for them. I agree. And I think Kyle Lowry's at a point right now in his career, just because he's able to come off the bench in previous matchups um, this postseason, that now that he's started, if he comes off the bench in game six, I don't think he'll have a problem with it. It's about getting these wins, and I think that's what Carl Lowry is. I mean, I'm talking about what he's a 2019 NBA champion. He knows what, what it takes, so I don't think you'll have a problem with it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, without Gabe Vincent, but honestly, yep. I don't even know if Gabe Vincent would have made an impact like that. The way the uh, Boston Celtics were balling last night, you couldn't contain Derek White. Marcus Smart had it going. I mean, Jason Tatum did his thing as usual. They mm-hmm. were just on, and Gabe Vincent, I mean, as small as he is, he wouldn't have stopped nothing. Yeah, but he at least would have put up some additional points. I mean, he, he they were missing about 17. At he least. will give you that, at least. And they didn't have that last night, you know? Yeah, so, I did hear one of the sideline reporters say that he could come back for game six because the swelling has gone down significantly. So that's a shining light for the Miami Heat. Yeah, that's pretty good. They need it. They need it. But, again, they don't fix their defense. And, I, you know, and I was a little – I was a little bothered by the fact that Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler were sitting on the bench in the fourth. Mm-hmm. Like, we're not talking about two minutes, you know, for, before the regulation ends. We're talking about, like, eight minutes. <laughs> he just said, Spocial was like, boop, come on out. Yeah, Go on and rest. We, it's a wrap. Go ahead on and rest. I'm like, what? Yeah, wow. yeah. And in the past, no lead was safe with the Miami Heat. But apparently last night's lead was. I mean, I know... They were up by, Boston Celtics were up by, I think, 24 at one point. But Horrible. when you look at the, when you look at the, um, the ending score, what they were, they lost by, I think, was it 13 or 16? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah 13, so really, yeah. it wasn't as close as it appeared. No you way. know, that was just like garbage time that they were able to cut the lead a little bit. But, you know, really, Boston Celtics punched the Miami Heat in the mouth. There ain't no way around it. <laughs> I mean, Miami, he never led in that game. Not one time. Mm-mm. Yeah. Man, the Boston Celtics got the eye of the tiger last night. I can tell you that. It surprised me because I really thought they would be at home or somewhere in Dubai. I just didn't think they would still be playing right now. And I don't know. The Miami Heat, they better bring it. They better bring it. If not, wow. Yeah. They don't want to go to a game seven. They do not want this oh, game to go to no. a game seven. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I, I actually think now it might actually go to a game seven. Ooh. Yeah, I think the Boston Celtics kind of figured it out a little bit. They just need, if they can get consistency from uh, Derek White and Marcus Smart. I think Marcus Smart was really the catalyst 
you know, his defense from the from the jump, right? Yeah, Causing yeah. turnovers and stuff. Miami he turned the ball over so much, it was unbelievable. Yeah, they could not hold on to it. Could not hold on to it. And Derek White, that right, he do, do a repeat. Give us a do over. Because if you do that again, and Marcus Smart does what he do again, they can potentially win game six. <laughs> Smart said, don't let us win one game. Mm. Now we're seeing why they got some momentum right now. Yeah, they do. And you know what, Jalen Brown, I'm still waiting for a breakout game, like a breakout game. Now, I know he had 21 points last night in game five, but I'm waiting for that game. He, I know he has it in him, so I, I, maybe he's feeling really good. Last, you know, really good now, and hopefully, Game Six will be that breakout game for him, where we're like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that's that Jalen Brown we've been waiting for. So, yeah, we'll waiting see. on him too. Now, the one thing though I noticed is Malcolm Brogdon was wearing that sleeve on his arm. I guess he's injured his elbow yeah. or yeah. something like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, tendon tear. Yeah, yeah, tendon tear. Yeah, it's let's just count him out. Yeah. yeah, you know, don't have him out there with really no effort, unable to really do what he needs to do, and we need him to shoot the ball. And he's coming up with zero points. It's just it doesn't look good. Let him just no, you know, be injured. Let him be injured. Let him heal. And you know, if they go to but a tear, a tendon tear, which if they still had him play, that means that it can't get any worse than it already is. Mm-hmm. But, you know, at this point, I don't know. Yeah, it looks bad for the uh, six man of the year, right? Because I really thought he would be very impactful in this series. And if you think about the Celtics, if they are fortunate enough to move forward to face the Nuggets, they mm-hmm. don't need Malcolm Brogdon. Oh, absolutely. Somebody else will have to come off this bench, giving them some points. Because last night, Grant Williams had six points, four rebounds. And Robert Williams III had six points, four rebounds. Mm-mm. They ain't going to do it. Not against the Nuggets? No. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't know what was missing. Maybe it been because the, the bench did really good for Miami Heat. I mean, Kayla Martin had 14 points, five rebounds. Duncan Robinson, another Duncan Robinson sighting 18 <laughs> points, four rebounds, nine assists. Yeah. High Smith came in and gave 15, which I was like, Come on, High Smith. Yeah, you know, you mean, yeah, yeah, 15 points, two rebounds. He had two steals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what we were missing was, um. The production from Jimmy. You know, you need 29 points from Jimmy, minimum. What was up with that? Jimmy. Yeah, Bam, a little Bam, his little 16 points, whatever he had. Uh uh-uh. uh. Both of them need to be in the mid 20s to let, you yeah. know, to high 20s. Mm hmm. Yeah, but you know, Jimmy Butler had 29 points in game four, game, game four, and uh, they lost. So. Yeah, that's true. But 16 is below his standard. That's what I do know. <laughs> that's what I do know. Right. And not only that, below his standard and his effort wasn't fully there. So I think he'll come out um, in game six and he'll be playoff Jimmy Butler all over again. I believe that. Okay. All right. So well, we will get an opportunity to see that on Saturday. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait. This is going to be. All right, backs against the wall. I think both teams, well, the Celtics have been playing with their backs against the wall for the last two games, you know, being down 0-3. Mm-hmm. But now the Miami Heat, their backs are against the wall because I'm telling you, if the Celtics go in there and tie the series, they get to go home for game seven. And the way yeah. that crowd was rocking last night. Oh, my gosh, they, yes. I mean, yeah. You know, I was like, are we in Sacramento? No, TD Garden was pumping. Good. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you know what, though, funny enough, I, I really want Miami to pick it up because I'm as I look forward to what the finals matchup would be, this Miami Heat team, I don't want them going up against the Nuggets. <laughs> I don't want that. Because right uh-huh. now, I'm like, oh, Boston Celtics may be a, a better matchup against the Nuggets at the with the way that they're playing right now, right? It's about matchups. I want to uh-huh. see good basketball. I don't want to see blowouts. Like right. That. So, yeah. Right. 